Hey guys, Christy here from The Soul Life and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to go through my favorite honey book features. And I cannot wait to share these with you because they are the bomb.com. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what they are and then I'm gonna show you how they actually work so you can get the visual idea in your head. First, one of my favorite features by far is the scheduler. You are able to set the boundaries of your schedule without losing any leads or client calls, all the things, and you do not have to coordinate your schedules. HoneyBook does it for you. So let me show you how the schedulers work on the back end and the front end and how you can easily connect your Google Calendar. So anytime you have a business or personal event you have to attend, it's gonna block it off in your calendar for you. In session, if you click on tools, scheduling, this is where it's going to bring you. So you can see I have a ton of different schedulers for all the different things that I offer. And then if you scroll down, you'll see where I've actually set the availability for these schedulers. So you'll see that I have different calls for different days. My Tuesday, Thursdays are usually pretty stacked. And this is just when the scheduler will actually show that availability. So if you click on Zoom consultation call and preview, on the front end, this is what my clients are gonna see. They're gonna see my availability for each week and each day coming up. There are different days blocked off, and you'll see I have Tuesday, Thursdays, but this ninth is blocked off, which means either all of the sessions were taken, or for this particular weekend, I have a wedding coming up, so I will be out of office. So I put that in my schedule, and then it blocked it off in my HoneyBook calendar. So let me show you on the inside of one of these schedulers so you can get an idea of how to set it up. So when you go and click create new session type, this is what you're going to have. Well, I wanna walk you through, I'm gonna discard this and walk you through how one of mine are set up. So the Zoom consultation call, you can do phone, in-person, video, other. For this video, I'm showing you how to walk through the video consultation. You can do Google, Zoom, or other. I personally do Zoom, and then I integrated my Zoom into my HoneyBook in the integrations within company settings. I call this Zoom consultation call. You can choose your time zone, how many minutes or hours. Rolling window means how long can the schedule be um, scheduled out. So for example, you can only schedule a Zoom console call with me six weeks out. Reason being, you could do days, weeks, months. Reason being, you'd wanna do a rolling window or a fixed date range would be because maybe, personally, yes, I typically know what I'm gonna be doing six weeks out from now, but I feel like it's a little far in case things do come up. So I don't want someone to be scheduling a consult call, say, three months from now. The session color is just internal. That's just for you to see the different color types and the different session types. Instructions, this would be the instructions that would show on the schedule page as well as on the confirmation emails. And then you can send invitee reminders. You can do it however many minutes, hours, days, or weeks before the session. And you can choose to also send this to you or not as well. And you can always X off of these if you want. Then you're gonna choose your availability. So in here, you can set your availability for as long as you want out. So say the, the weeks were differing, then you can go ahead and set that availability in the calendar by just clicking on that box, clicking add time, and then putting, let's say, one, two, 2.30. You can choose to apply this to all of those weekly dates, or you can just do a random date. Then you would press save. Buffers means the amount of time before and after. You, people can, um, there'll be buff room. So for example, if someone scheduled with me at from 12 to 12.30, while well, someone couldn't schedule from 11.30 to 12 because there has to be a 15 minute buffer before and after my calls. Minimum notice, what's the minimum notice you want for someone to be able to schedule? custom increments, that's just how it's going to show up on the calendar. So in, you can do, 
like 60 minutes it would show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 30 minutes would be 1, 32, 33, 30, 5 minutes, you get the point. Team members, you can choose to add different team members to the calls automatically. And then confirmation page, so here's extra stuff you can add to the con confirmation. And just decide if you want to send a confirmation email to allow rescheduling and allow cancellations. So that's a walkthrough of the scheduler. Then you'll see again on the outside, this is what the scheduler looks like to the client. They're able to pick their session, press continue, put in their name, email, phone number, continue, and then they will be able to book their call. So I actually just put in some information and then this is what the confirmation page looks like. Then they're able to add this to their Google Calendar from here, the Zoom link pops up unique for them, and this is actually a unique Zoom link that it created, and it's now in my Zoom account. So if I click into my calendar, you'll see I scheduled a session for August 30th. Let me go ahead and go all the way there. And so you'll see this is what popped up. John Smith 90 minute strategy session. This is coming in from my HoneyBook meetings calendar. And this is how all of them show up. Now you'll see if I click on any of these blocks or I create any calendar events, all you have to do is click busy for this to block off your scheduler. So that is it for showing you my favorite feature, one of my favorite features being the HoneyBook scheduler, how easy and simple it makes it for being able to not have to coordinate your schedules and automatically send this to your client so they can get in touch with you with ease. Okay, next up is the leads pipeline. This allows you to see every single person that has inquired within your business or if you added them to the pipeline manually so you can make sure no lead is slipping through the cracks. Not only can you track all of their names and contact information, but you can also see every single thing you've ever sent back and forth, whether it's an email, a scheduler, a proposal, and you can easily check in on that project and where they stand. Let me show you how. So here is a leads pipeline where you can see all the different project stages that these projects can fall in. So if you see five active projects and then you click into the different pipeline stages, you're able to see then who is under here. So I'm gonna click into John Smith and you'll see in the project portal, this is what I see on my end. His end is gonna be very similar. He's just not gonna be able to see the gray boxes here, but everything will look very much the same. So you can see everything that's been sent back and forth, all the emails, the different schedulers that have been created. You can click into files to see all the different files. Obviously this is a test account, so there are a bunch of different files payments and then a detail section as well where you can put in other example information. So this is just a really cool part. If I go back to projects, you'll see the pipeline. It just keeps all of your leads super organized. I can always click into the different stages, check in with clients, and then access everything I need for that client underneath their portal. Next up is the home screen. I love being able to look at my business from this holistic overview, see any inquiries that have come in, any emails, if someone has sent a proposal, any upcoming events, how much I've made this year in bookings, and then also if there are any tasks or emails that I have to go ahead and view or approve and send out. It's such a great way to be able to just see all the things that I need and tackle them right then and there. And lastly, let's talk about how much I love the template section. I wanna show you one of my favorite features specifically, but also the template section has so many amazing templates. I'm a sucker for them because why recreate the wheel a million times when you can do it once really well and then just upload the same exact thing? For example, canned emails, brochures, questionnaires, proposals, all the things. 
but one of the best things is autofill. Whether it's autofilling a client's first name on a canned email, or it is autofilling all of the information about a client project into a proposal so that you can go ahead and send it over in five minutes or less. Let me show you how you can add smart fields to your proposal so that you can save as much time as possible. A proposal, what is a proposal? It's just a contract and an invoice combined. So if I go ahead and add an item here, let's just call it, um, I'll just call it item. And then we'll just put that it's $500. You don't have to adjust the payment schedule. That's just to show you some cool smart field things. And then we're here at the contract portion. So these gray boxes here are what the smart fields are. Now, when you set them up properly is when you will have them autofill. And this is a common thing that I see is people don't actually know how to set them up where adding these smart fields you just click on this option box field options and then you can customize the fields you can put in the field name the value choose they can edit must fill or can't edit so say you put client name and then you press save well when i go to add this to a client project that's actually not going to put the client name in i could also put the client's name here so that would be adding it manually right the trick with these is actually not putting in that field value unless it's something standard like your information, but instead just clicking into the box and you see this pull field info from, well, if you scroll here, you are going to get all of the generic information that can autofill. So if I did first client full name, safe. If I did um, let's do like the proposal total amount. Save. That's going to bring in $500 because that's this here. So people are used to filling in this information themselves, but you can pull in all of this awesome information autofill. So let's do one more. We will do um, first client email. Save. Oh, whoops, that did not save. First client email, save. And then let me show you what happens. When I click use this template, so I was just editing that in the template center, but I wanna add this to a project now because I just got off console call and I want this to autofill and send this proposal in like five minutes. I'll click an existing project, click John Smith, create file, and then let's see that information auto-filled right into the project. So that is the power of Smart Fields. You'll see excellent all fields are filled. When you have a bomb.com proposal and contract, all of that stuff is going to auto-fill. There might only be a few things that it says, hey, you actually need to fill out these three fields, but it's a matter of just going right to that field, filling it out, reviewing the email and sending it over. So that's a wrap. Those are my four favorite HoneyBook features. You can see the power that they have to instantly change your business and your life. Not being dramatic, they actually have for me. And if you wanna know more about CRMs and how they can benefit your business, go ahead and download our free CRM toolkit. I'll link it in the description below so that you can get a better understanding of how powerful a CRM could be in your business. And I have to mention this because it's one of the best deals out there. If you want 50% off your first year of HoneyBook, you can go ahead and use my link below to snag that deal if you are a new member. That means you'll be able to have HoneyBook for your first year for literally half the price. Such a good deal. With that, I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel if you want to go ahead and keep up with all of the HoneyBook tutorials that you possibly can there will definitely be more down the pipeline and i hope the tips in today's video were helpful for you and thanks for watching